While the developing stories surrounding the untimely demise of Obumneme Odomodo, the Nollywood legend, popularly known as Junior Pope, remains controversial. It was, however, confirmed later that Obumneme Odomodo, Junior Pope, could not make it alive. This is quite unfortunate. Why a lot of developing stories are still coming out, which seems very hurtful and very doubtful at the same time. There are so many untold stories about this young man. Follow me on a journey. First and foremost, let's get this fact for real. It was reported that Junior Pope was forced to enter the speedboat even when he refused to enter because there was no life jacket. Secondly, it was equally reported that one of his Nollywood colleagues, popularly called T.C. Okafo, was ringing a bell while they were crossing over the River Niger. Again, it was equally gathered that they were not shooting a movie before the boat capsided, that they were simply crossing over to the other side for a movie whose title is The Other Side of Life. Unfortunately, this young man found himself in the other side of life. Before we get into the details of these developing stories, it is important to note that Junior Pope, originally Obumneme Odomodo, was born on the 7th of May, 1984. As a matter of fact, his mother is a Cameroonian, while his dad is a Nigerian. He was born in Cameroon, in Bamenda. But Junior Pope was so much affiliated to the cultures of his father, who is from Nigeria, and precisely that of Enugu state culture. Meanwhile, Junior Pope is survived by a wife, his beloved wife, who is Jennifer Obuno and his three children. It is indeed going to be a hard bite for the family because Obumneme Odomodo is the only son of his father. In one of the videos he made previously, he made it categorically clear that he is the only son of the parents that he needs to be alive to train his three kids but unfortunately sometimes in life unconsciously we make mention of events that are yet to happen either spontaneously immediately or later on may god continue to grant his soul eternal rest meanwhile according to the information available from eyewitnesses junior pope refused to board the speedboat after he told the director of the movie they were going to shoot that he cannot board that boat because there was no life jacket but he was compelled that the boat was going to drive slowly thereafter while they were driving there was another boat that was coming parallel to their own very boat thereafter this very boat started moving in a perpendicular fashion and eventually hit their own boat by the middle of it and ran over them immediately their own boat was turned upside down and they all and the crew members all found themselves right deep inside river niger based on this very information many have asked questions is there anything behind this very untimely demise of obumneme odongodo is the manager or the director of this movie entirely clean from this very incident Another speculation and blame goes to the Nollywood actor T.C. Okafo, who was allegedly reported to be ringing a bell while they were driving on top of the River Niger. The local men from that region of Aguleri and Umuleri, as well as Anam, have also reported that on that very fateful day, being the 10th of April, was their Eke Market Day, that it was not expected that anyone not on a spiritual mission should be ringing a bell while crossing the river niger that is another question from this very angle and finally many have also speculated that obumneme odomodo has been on a target list as was reported also by anonymous shortly after he commissioned or opened his mansion that he built in nigeria that was exactly i think on the 12th of december 2023 it is quite sad. Our heart goes out to the family and we simply pray 
that God will grant them the fortitude to bear this irreparable loss. As we continue to gather more facts and figures concerning this untimely demise, we shall continue to update the public so that the right information may be tailored down. As you watch this video, don't forget to drop a word of prayer for the family. One thing is very certain. When the hour shall come, no man knows. Our prayer is that the good Lord will grant us long life to reap the good fruits of our labor. We shall not die untimely. We shall not die prematurely. As you watch this video, I think God beg you. Share a man rapes in Siam.